Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can pass data from parent to child component. So we'll start with the theoretical part. First we'll understand what is parent component, what is child component, why we need to pass data, what is parent child communication and all. After that we will make a component and use it as a child component. Then we will see how we can pass data from parent to child. And first we'll pass static data, then we will pass dynamic data with the help of drop down. And we will also see how we can pass more than one data or more than one property to the child component from parent and at last we'll discuss some important interview questions. This is Angular 19 playlist that will definitely help you out for Angular job project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. Alright, let's talk about first question what is parent and what is child component. See when we are working with the Angular applications what we can do we can create a component and use it inside the another component. So the component which is used uh, above is basically called as parent component and the component which is used inside is basically a child component. And what is parent uh, child communication? See when we are passing data from parent to child or child to parent then we can say that this is the parent to child component communication. Alright. Okay. One more question. Why we need to pass data from parent to child or child to parent? See, uh, when we are working with the complex applications or complex projects in the Angular, what we mostly want, we want to reuse the component again and again. So that's why we basically make a parent component and whatever thing we will think like this is the common thing. Uh, for that we create a, another component so that we can use it again and again. And uh, the child component need some data to get it reused or to process the data. That's why we basically pass data from parent to child. Let me give you a very simple example so that you can understand. So here you can see that in LinkedIn profile, uh, that image is round, right? Here and again here, even this image is also round, then this image and here also. So on the multiple places, there are only single one requirement. So what we can do there, we can pass the image URL to the component and this component has a image tag and that it can make the round whatever image path we are getting there right so from parent component here we are passing the image path and child component basically making it round right so this is how we uh, uh, example from where we need a uh, data from parent to child component now let's move to the code and what i'm going to do there first let me close everything from there and I'm creating one more component so that we can reuse it. And that component name can be user and G, G4 generate, C4 component and component name which is user. Here we go. Now, let me, uh, you can see that, close this terminal. And uh, here we have one P tag. So let me make it, making it H2 tag and you can see that user component, right? Okay, and there if you want to use it first, you have to import it in the component where you want to use. So let me put their user component and the component tag which we have this selector that we have to use as a tag in the parent component where you want to use it. So let me mention it like this. And now if we go to the UI, here we go. We can see that. Great. So the next thing that we want to do. Uh, now we want to pass some data from this parent to child component. So again, let's pass one property there. And this property can be anything. Let me, let me pass their user. And I'm putting there Anil Sidhu with the capital first letter like this. Now this is passed. Then how we can receive it in the child component and how we can use it. So let's move to the app.component.ts and there first of all you have to import a input decorator like this. Uh, it should be start with the capital letter input like this. All right. So here you can see that this is imported. Cool. And you have to put the braces inside this and whatever name you are mentioned there past their user same name you can use there and you have to define the data type also. Let's say string. Right, but initially it could be uh, undefined also because maybe this data will take some time or maybe every time we are not passing data. So by default you can just mention there some empty data or something. Perfect. 
and now that's all now this user is a property there you can use in your ph uh, html file let me use there only h2 and here we go anil situ so let me just make make it more interactive user name is this all right okay so this is a static data but let's say in the app.ts we have okay let me remove this i just forgot to remove it right Be before making this video i was practicing this so let's say you have one property with the name of user name and its uh, name is bruce let's say you want to pass this so and if i just trying to pass this uh there you will see this is passing this username as a string but this is a property we want the name which is used inside this property so for that what you can simply do you can simply use the uh, square braces inside this and now it will understand like this is a property and it has some data here we go okay great now the next thing is let's say you have a select select uh, or drop down you can see that right and it have some options it has some options uh, anil and similarly two three more options maybe peter sam and last one is maybe tony right so now whatever value you are selecting from there you want to pass there so let's try there one thing let me keep the id uh, item or maybe selected user or something right selected user now if i'm using this selected user there dot value then now you can see that whatever value is selected there we, this is visible there uh, and this is passing through there right and if i just select there something peter uh, this is not changed so i think we have to use the another way for from this what we can do there let's create a event there change event right and there we will call a function change user and we have to define this function and there you can pass simply uh let's say selected user dot value this function we have to create in the app dot component dot uh, ts file there and for there let's get a value and it will be a string type now you can do that this dot uh, username is uh, well right and now this username you can simply pass there which is already passed right like this so now it should work so if i just choose their peter here we go sam tony whatever we are passing this is uh, selected in the username and passing through there let's say you want to pass one more data this is also very simple you can see that let's say you want to pass the city there and city is right now i'm just passing the static city let's say noida and uh, then in the user dot component dot ts again you can mention there at the rate input and let's say user city only right city its type string and by default value could be let's say blank and uh, on the html file if you mention there city it should work all right so this is how we can pass the two data and that's all for this part in interviews they can ask in child component which decorator we have to use the received data you can say that at the rate input de uh, decorator we can use and please like this video share your feedback in comment section this is my paytm number for donation if you want to donate anything thanks guys